Three, two, one, all right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy Razor from Razor Tube coming out to you with some Valorant Council content today. If you guys are new to the channel, drop that sub and like, hit that notification bell for the most up to date and recent Valorant Council news. This is for the news for the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. And boy, do I got a good, good, good piece of content for you today. Well, officially today, officially today, Valorant has come out on council and it is out of the beta and it is awesome let me tell you so before we get into today's topic let me just go ahead and switch over to some patch notes we'll calm down the music a little bit and so if you guys are new to the council valorant community i welcome you with open arms this game is awesome it's got some of the best skins on a console game that you can ask for they definitely put work into that and they also listen to to the community and put their work into the patches and updates so before i get into the patch 9.02 obviously it's out go grab it it's free on the microsoft and sony store have fun with it all right so with that being said we're going to get right into the patch notes all right so uh valent patch notes 9.02 this is um pretty sweet you're gonna have a little bit of a mix between the pc news and council all in one but anyways it says hey y'all it's uh joe ellen and i'm here once again with patch nine zero nine zero two um for all platforms player behavior updates the behavioral intervention update people who engage in comms abuse will experience increased penalties so all you little trolls online who think you're you know got the big boy pants on and want to talk a lot of smack from now on, you get an increased penalty when you do that. Um, bug fixes for agents, they fix Neon, which is, um, they fixed a bug where Neon's hitbox could be slightly offset when she's sliding, so that's fixed. For gameplay and systems, you guys can go on the website and read your own. For maps, they did a couple of fixes for Abyss because several areas where the spike could get stuck on certain ledges outside the map. They fix, and they also fix the bug where Omen could die by teleporting in a specific spot in the mid bottom, which is awesome that they fix that. And Sunset, the, my least favorite map, but hey, I gotta play it. Uh, you can no longer jump on the tall box in A Alley, which is legit. I just thought that was unfair and it was just stupid. All right, so here's a bunch of PC fixes. We're gonna get down to the council updates because that's what we're about. So, general updates for the council are the keep player centered minimap. Uh, setting will now be forced on for the minimap zoom levels about 1.0 so you keep that minimap right at 1.0 it'll be good this prevents a non-center minimap views from getting into an unusual state on high zoom levels so your map won't move around all weird when you're playing the game also agent updates big deals uh toggable Abilities, select abilities which require you to press and hold a button down can now be set to toggle, allowing you to press and let go of the input to steer that ability. So that applies to like people like Harbor, Phoenix, and Sky. So with Harbor, it's high tide. With Phoenix, it's the firewall. And with Sky, it's the guiding light, which is the blinding effect, right? And then Neon um for high gear the high gears description to the ability info panel has been updated to match the abilities that are binding and then sova's uh hunter's fury applies less drag on your controls allowing you more control um over the charges duration so in layman's term what that means is it you don't have as much it doesn't feel like you're stuck in this weird animation trying to go left or right when you're strafing with his hunter's fury right all right so map updates icebox is now in the competitive mode unrated swift play and deathmatch so that's awesome i like it uh icebox has always been one of my favorite maps even when i played on pc um for social updates um they have the in it the match scoreboard now has uh, voice control shortcuts you can now open the scoreboard and press a button uh, added the audio to social notifications, which is good, and they added party information to the social panel as well. For bug fixes, they did a lot of general ones um, with inputs and kind of controller configurations that was, you know, kind of lagging or behind on their, their part. For performance, they fixed a performance issue when changing controller presets, which is nice. 
Um, I have noticed one glitch that's been happening a lot is my controller, when it's fully charged, if I'm, like, going into an ability or I'm going to, like, toggle with a left and right bumper, sometimes it'll turn off. I don't know if you guys are getting that. Put in the comment section below what you think of that little glitch that happens. And let me know if you get it. And let me know what you think about the game if you've been playing the entire beta. Um, also, weapons mitigated. An issue when using scoped weapons where your sensitivity would sharply increase at the beginning of the zoom of when you pull out the sniper rifles. So the sniper rifles are fixed. You know, you're going to be a little bit... Your animation is going to be a little bit slower, but it's going to be more fluid. Anyways, there are known issues left on the council side while playing through the basic training event at the end of the game basic training event banner and the progression hub will show you your current milestone is plus one instead of two after you complete the second milestone so with all this being said make sure you guys drop that sub and like if you guys are new to this channel we love valorant let me know what kind of content you want to see about valorant in the future and hit me up on my discord which is in the description below I appreciate all of you watching, and if you guys didn't see the brand new skin that's out right now for um, Valorant, they have the Champions 2024 collection, which is a sword and a phantom skin. The cool, the cool thing is, is if you're a fragger, um, if you have the most skin or uh, most 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 kills in the game that you're playing, right, uh, you get the aura, which is literally um, your gun glows. Check this out. See it glowing? It's dope. Same thing goes for the sword. So, all right, that's enough for me. I'll see you next video. Bye.